Hey everybody and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest episode 126 for July 21st, 2018. We have quite the silly encounter to open up 1v1 this weekend. Clay Fighter's Blob really needs to shape shift up or ship the hell out if he can't smother Killer Instinct's Fulgore for a critical win. The Metalhead really needs a standout victory too, as his only best performance came via his showdown with Raziel last season. Kenny changes luck in this bout. Random stage we shall see. See, hope you all enjoy. Clay Fighter and Killer Instinct both struggling franchises, but who will finish strong in this bout? The Blob versus Fulgore on the Phantom Train outstage. Let's get ready to kick butt and engage. Here we go. All right, Blob missed the jumping eye shot. Fulgore with the jumping catching Blob, who now fights back. Listen, Fulgore dashes in, but gets caught by the now with a Blob right to that aerial string. Fulgore missed the electric bolt. Blob gets grazed by that uppercut. Now Blob trying to attack with that multi fist special on Fulgore. Knocks him across the stage. Fulgore missed the I beam and the electrical bolt. Blob trying to creep in underneath here. Ends up getting countered. Now Blob trying to fight back with a baseball shot. Fulgore with the jump kick. Now see Fulgore go for that super electric bolt. Flies Blob across the stage. Blob trying to slide with the Fulgore teleports into the Corner. Blob trying to lock him there. Fulgore missed the I-beam. Now Blob clubbing him. Trying to punish him with an aerial. Now it's slamming poor Fulgore with the jumping eye shot. There he goes. And Blob got all over the misses of Fulgore in round one and manages to capitalize. Round two, can Fulgore come back here? We'll see. Misty watching both the start two of them. Gets a nice kick. Misty uppercut and teleports in on Blob. Who ends up greeting him with the baseball. It's like, now Blob just trying to attack with the multi fist special. Catches Fulgore from behind. Missy Fulgore misses those jabs and Blob just punishing him with the aerial. Fulgore tries to teleport out of the corner. Still got caught by Blob's attack. And Blob with the multi fist knocking him back. Now a boot right to the baseball. Fulgore missed the Ivy. Gets a slide kick through. Now fires up a few electric bolts. Misses Blob completely. Gets a jump kick through though. Fulgore teleports behind Blob, ends up missing the multi-hit electric bolts, now see Blob trying to get slide in, gets a big malice shot, launching Fulgore high up, and there he goes. The impact of him hitting the ground killed him. Sheesh! And Blob finally gets a win here, and a damn convincing 2-0 win at that. Hooray! Blob isn't suffering any more defeats, yet. <laughs> I mean, so far I think everybody's beaten Fulgore, so it's not a huge accomplishment, but hey, it's a starting point for Blob. Let's see if he can build from this now. And Fulgore, he might be, he might need to seek an NXT career, because right now the main roster is not doing him any favors. Although he is trying to put up a fight, I mean, he did take a round off Rezio when he was really on it, but since then he hasn't really hit his peak again. It's kind of a shame. Anyways, be right back folks as I set up single set number two, which I hope will be more promising and will deliver more. Be right back as I get it all ready. How oh, deep peeps, the sizzle on singles continues. This next bout could be a sleeper in one sense or another, depending on where it goes. Data Live's Toki Yadogami must contend with Gochi Yuza's Koko Hodo. The Black Princess would have to get the nod here, as her speed is unmatched by most, and her constant combo chaining with her bulky blade can be troublesome to counter. Hopefully the Rabbit House recruit can put up a fight with her array of moves, as we hurry on down to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! Will the hot cocoa run cold thanks to Toka's devilish darkness? It's an Adamu affair between Toka Yadogami and Koko Hodo, and we have a steel cage in play. Eek! Anyways, let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Coco opens up with a jump kick right to the train shot, knocks Toka down good. Now Coco leaps in, Toka leaps over her, now zips behind her, gets like an energy hold on Coco, now starts chaining her with that sword barrage. Oh boy, this is bad news for Coco. Sword slam right to that double energy fist, there goes a third of Coco's health already. Another energy orb coming out, but Coco's shielding up, blocks the energy wave, Toka trying to get in, missed the sword slam, but ends up getting a double energy fist through, watching Coco cross the stage. Man, Coco better beware, missed the jump kick, now Toka chaining her with the energy waves into the sword barrage, he hits the ground. Oh, Toka's sword chaining her in the air now. This is bad for Coco. Energy waves right to a sword slash, and there goes the special. Probably a level 3, and Coco's pretty much done here. Yeah, whenever this comes up, it's pretty much KO. Not that it matters, Coco didn't have much health to begin with anyway here. KO, dead. <laughs> and Toka nearly maps up flawless on Coco in round 1. She took a couple hits there, but 
Maybe Toka could do better in round two? Or will Coco deny her yet another flaws? We shall see. All right, Toka leaves in with the sword brush. Coco shielding up the tray, gets a nice jumping attack off. Missed the tray shot and the baton and the burger. Now Toka trying to counterattack with the sword brush. And Coco misses sweet kick, ends up blocking the energy waves. Toka trying to rain down more energy waves. Coco shielding up with her tray. She better not let her defense down, or that sword's going to eat her up fast. See, Coco missed that aura brush, tries to some sweet kicks. Toka teleporting in, gets the sword up, cut through. Oh boy, there's the opening Toka needed. Now she's got an aerial sword chain. Coco in deep trouble now. Big sword slam into the double energy fist, launching Coco into the corner. Nearly for half her health, and Toka trying to rechain her. It was like a nice counter attack from Coco. Tries for a jump kick there. Missed the baton shot, and I'll get you a Tobiji summon. I think that's Tobiji. Now it's either Toka with the sword chain again, following that lightning bolt into an aerial sword chain, into the ground sword chain, to another aerial sword chain. God, Toka just brutalizes. Big super sword slam does another chunk of Coco's health. Coco missed the jump kick, gets a nice grab into a throw off on Toka. Missed the tray up and for a burger summon. Has Toka on the ropes here in the corner. Coco trying to keep the pressure up with the baton and the burger drop. Another burger drop. Coco missed the tray shot. Toka gets the sword up, cut through. That's probably going to be it for Coco here. Toka not going to let up this time. Energy waves eating away at Coco. Lightning bolt just allowing Toka to rechain again. Energy waves into the sword strikes. Coco nearly dead here. And Toka's energy waves will finish her off. Well, Coco pushed her a tiny bit harder in round two, but still not anywhere near enough to take a round off of her, though. And poor Coco drops another 2-0. And the cold Coco proceeds to get dumped into the drain. What a waste, Coco! <laughs> uh, can't blame her, she tried. Toka's a very vicious opponent to draw, so... Unless you're top tier like her, you're probably not going to be taking a round, much less winning against her. Toka's got insane range and some super sick combo strings. And if you get strung even once by her, that's like a third of your health already gone. So you gotta really be careful against her. And Coco sadly could not. So hopefully maybe she'll come back against a weaker opponent later and maybe get a win. And Toka will continue to showcase her dominance through the rest of Season 3, I guess. <laughs> Well, sorry for the curb stops and singles, folks, but we still got doubles to turn things around. Be right back. I will prep those for you guys. See you in a few moments. Okie dokie! Time to pokey our way into doubles! <laughs> Anyways, first up, we have Team SOS Brigade in Koizume and Ryoko. They will tear it up against Team Metal Gear's Solid and Liquid Snake. This will truly be a hot and humid hell zone with all the fire, knives, and explosives being thrown around by these four fighters. Whose spam will see them to a monster W? Random stage, give us the goods. Hope you all enjoy. Can the snakes avoid getting skinned by Koizume and Ryoko and their chaotic combos? The SOS Brigade versus Metal Gear on the Midnight Zone stage. This should be a solid showing. Haha, <laughs> engage, here we go. Alright, Ryoko dashes in with the knife shot, the solid knocks in back. Liquid goes in with a sweet kick to the uppercut of Ryoko. Now Koizume getting buried by Liquid's melee. Let's see, Koizume gets countered by a headbutt, so does Ryoko. Now Solid trying to shield up from this knife uppercut. Liquid gets caught. Solid pistol whipping from afar. Koizume going into a flame ball as Ryoko gets knocked out of her special. Liquid convoy Koizume. Ryoko guts Solid with a knife shot. Now Liquid going for the cheap special. Ends up cutting Koizume down. Ryoko knocked out of her knife shot. Now Solid trying to get in. Koizume spamming fireballs from Ryoko. Goes in for the flame ball, starts grilling Solid. Ryoko spamming that knife. Dashing knife shot, Solid grabs her, throws her in the corner. Koizume goes in with the flame ball again, grilling Liquid. Now Ryoko with the jumping knife shot, God, knife uppercut on Liquid. Right to Koizume's flame ball, there goes Liquid, he's dead already. Solid in trouble now. Big knife uppercut from Ryoko, Solid nearly dead. Koizume trying to get the flame ball on Solid, who ends up dodging, tried to roll in, but Ryoko guts him with the knife. And SOS managed to take round one, and damn, it was pretty close too, I must say. Well, let's hope Metal Gear can bounce right back hard in round two. Come on, guys. Actually, Koizume starts with a flame wall there. Missed the fireball. Goes for another flame wall. Solid blocking. Liquid ends up getting Ryoko. Now Koizume going for a big flame wall special. Ends up slamming Liquid. Solid trying to fight out. Ends up getting a sleeper on Koizume. As Liquid whips out the Jeep. Ryoko blocks that. Koizume trying to go for a flame burst. Right to Ryoko's knife uppercut. Liquid escapes in the corner. Gets an uppercut to Ryoko. Now Solid pistol whipping from afar. Right to Liquid's Jeep. Man, the snake's battling back nicely here. See, Ryoko gets tossed by Solid. Liquid knocks. Koizume back with the headbutt. Solid trying to hang behind Liquid. Gets knocked out. See, Koizume got tossed by Solid. Now Koizume spamming that flame ball. Ryoko gets hurled by Solid again. Now Liquid gets the Jeep special. Ends up missing it. And Ryoko missed her knife attack as she gets caught by an explosion. Sheesh, that was a chaotic end of round two. My goodness. 
but Solid and Liquid do bring it back somehow, and they will live to see it round three. Can they get the major here? We'll see. All right, Solid opens up with a fist. Oh, man, right into Liquid's shoulder tackle on Quizume. Now they're trying to double-team Ryoko, who gets blown out of the air. Now Quizume with an aerial strength to that flame burst. Right there, Ryoko's knife uppercut. Nice teamwork from SOS. Liquid going for the Jeep special. Runs them down. Now Solid with an aerial to Ryoko in the meantime. Quizume with the super flame wall. Ends up doing some nice damage to the snakes. Liquid going for a Jeep special counter here. Quizume going for the flame wall again. Solid gets caught by Ryoko's knife uppercut. Flame ball from Quizume. Ends up rolling Solid and Liquid. Ryoko gets up the knife string. Solid dead. Liquid in a heap of trouble. And Quizume takes him out with the aerial kick string. And SOS have managed to seize round three. They have survived, folks. And they get a nice, credible, strong W stamped into their record book 2-1 over Solid and Liquid. And they got a damn commanding round three win to boot. Both rounds one and two were down to the wire. Phew. Well, good to see that Koizume and Ryoko got their asses in gear, and then they did not let up on the snakes once they had that momentum. I mean, Solid and Liquid had some pretty good spacing there, but Koizume and Ryoko kept disrupting it, and they managed to keep meleeing them around until they couldn't do anything anymore. So, good job to SOS Brigade. I'm sure Haruhi and Kion and Yuki and Asahi are all happy. <laughs> And, well, the Snakes, they'll have a shot at redemption later on against another team, so hopefully they'll get a rebound win themselves. They're pretty good. They work pretty well together, so they're bound to get another win sooner or later. And, hey, we got a three, so we broke the 2-0 string. That's a start. Alrighty, folks, be right back as I get double set number two going. Maybe we'll get an even better fight here. Be right back. Already, Musionites, I is back with more 2v2 excitement. Next in line, we have the KFC clowns Ronald McDonald and Colonel Sanders, who would like nothing more than to dump Team Sonic Shadow and Rouge into Deep Fryer and overcook them to the point of no return. Can the spiky one in the busty bat run the fast food freaks out of business for a much needed victory? Random stage, show us what they got. Hope you all enjoy. Shadow and Rouge, you need a major to your resume. Get it here over the Colonel. And the Rogue Ronald. Can Team Sonic avoid burial beneath buns via the KFC clowns? Time will tell. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Ronald charged in, falling. Sanders drumstick. Now Shadow power charging. Ronald throwing burgers from behind. Sanders with the aerial right to the Ronald woman. It's a Ronald string into a Sanders string. Good God. Now Rouge is keeping with her bat wings flying away. Sanders with a bice under Shadow. Ronald with a bice under Rouge. Now Rouge kicks Sanders away. Goes for a paralyzing fireball. Diving drill kick. Catching both KFC clowns. Apple bomb goes off, blowing everybody into the air. Now Sanders kicked away by Rouge. Shadow pairing off with Sanders. Ronald pairing off with Rouge in the meantime. Now Sanders gets side kicked by Shadow. Paralyzing fireball to Ronald via Rouge. Now Shadow with the dashboard grazing. Sanders, now Ronald lobbing out burgers, Sanders gets him with the aerial drumstick, slams Rouge right into a figure of beam catching Shadow, there he goes, now Rouge getting drumstick jabbed into Ronald's uppercut, there she goes. My goodness, nice synergy from the KFC clowns as they manage to snag up round one. Now can Team Sonic battle back from behind and force it to a three, I hope for their sake they can. Alright, Sanders tries to go for a drumstick jab, Rouge getting caught, tries to get away from Ronald, gets clubbed by a giant fry, Shadow gets caught by an aerial drumstick, good god, Ronald trying to chain Rouge, Ronald woman miss, Rouge kicking him away, Sanders with a drumstick slam to Shadow, Ronald sets up the apple bomb and some fries, oh, Rouge going for an aura burst, but looks like the apple bomb blew her out of it, now Ronald missed that fry shot, now Rouge body slammed by Sanders, gets caught by Shadow's dash ball, Ronald with a jumping rattles kick to Rouge, Sanders with a drumstick slam to Shadow, catches him nicely, as he out, those Shadow going for a rolling dash ball into a big kick. Rouge getting in with the body spin. Ends up sandwiching Sanders. Super dash nearly takes Ronald out of it. Ronald slammed by Rouge's jump kick. Now let's see how Ronald trying to get in. Shadow leaping over. Uh, Shadow trying to attack Sanders. Gets an arrow. Gets blown out of his drumstick. Now Ronald throwing out the apple bomb. Purple force field wastes Ronald. Sanders in trouble now. Sand was like Shadow going in for a dash ball. Purple energy wave falling. Rouge's energy kick. Man, there is that. Axe kick takes out Sanders. Good God. And Team Sonic find themselves right back in it somehow in round two. My goodness, hopefully they can keep it up. Round three, our second, who will take it here? All right, Ronald charges in. Oh, oh no, Sanders landed the explosive drumstick special on Rouge. That's going to do some heavy damage to her. Now see, Ronald trying to solo out Shadow who's zipping around. Man, the explosive drumstick special does nearly half of Rouge's health. Ronald's getting sandwiched, but Sanders breaking it up. And I'll see Big Roundhouse knock Shadow away from Rouge. Now see, oh, Shadow going for an EX mode here. Now goes in for a dash ball, man. Ronald and Sanders stuck. Now see, Rouge got knocked out of an electrical orb projectile. Ronald going for aerial burger spam. Now Sanders gets a nice body slam on Shadow. Oh, uh, paralyzing fireball whip from Rouge, two of them. Now Sam, oh my gosh, Shadow slammed down. Ronald with a jumping fry shot, catching Rouge good. Dashing drumstick to the aerial drumstick on Shadow. And Rouge getting clubbed by the giant french fry. There she goes. And Shadow with the psychic catching Sanders. Shadow the only one left. 
dodges that finger five beam. Apple Bomb still laid out. Sanders with an aerial jump stick. Apple Bomb goes off. Blows Sanders high up into the air. And Shadow caught by Ronald's aerial kick. And the KFC Clowns rebound harshly on Team Sonic in round three. My goodness. That explosive jump stick, a difference maker, landing it on Rouge very early. And they managed to single her out quick. And they stack up the 2-1 grounding Shadow afterward. Who am I? Crazy ass action. I'm sorry if I might have lost my place a little here and there, but when it comes to Sonic characters, they're zipping all over the place, throwing a million things out at once, and Shadow, he is one hard cat to keep up with. Oy. And Ronald and Sanders, when they go crazy too, they're kind of hard to see what they're doing at times. So please forgive me for the, you know, phonetic frenzy that was going on there, or whatever. Anyways, pretty good outing from both teams here. KFC Clowns and Team Sonic did not disappoint. Shadow and Rouge, even though they are not winning very much, they're at least forcing more threes than some of these other teams are, so there is that. But Shadow and Rouge do need a win if they hope to see Season 4, and they don't have much time left. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned as I set up our 4v4 main event. Hopefully, that will deliver an N126 on a high note. Be right back as I get it all ready. It is F126 4v4 main event time, ladies and gents. Team Mortal Kombat's Raiden, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and Nightwolf are looking for extra momentum after crushing Team WWF under their heels. Defeating Team Tails, Crest, Kyle, Shavite, and Rimley could be that adrenaline they seek, but it won't be earned very easily, as these swordsmen and women have far superior range in a faster melee game. MK, however, pack more projectiles and heavier hitting specials when allowed to get them off. So we'll have to see how everything plays out as we roll on down to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! Mortal Kombat vs. Tails in the squared circle. Who will tear it up harder? Team Mortal Kombat vs. Team Tails, F-126 4v4 main event. This should be a monster of a matchup, I'm hoping. WF4 is war ring, engage, here we go. Alright, Nightwolf leaping over, Crest, Kyle's ready to attack, Raiden, Luke King uppercuts him. Raiden with the Watcher Bolt, Kyle with the sword slam. Now body spin for Kung Lao, knocks you right away. Now Raiden goes for the Watcher Bolt, Kung Lao with the mini hat throw. Raiden with the super electric bolt, good cut, flying team tails. Right to Luke King's aerial fist and the Kung Lao's high into a super Raiden lightning bolt, there they go! And Mortal Kombat sees round one just not letting off the gas pedal. Team Tails better do the same in round two if they hope to see a three. Come on, guys. Well, like Kyle got knocked out of his attack. Shavai goes for a switch because Raiden. Now Raiden counterattacking with a super electric bolt, catching Team Tails. Now Liu Kang trying to attack with an aerial fist. Raiden with another super electric bolt. Good god, man. Now Crest trying to disrupt Raiden. Cuts him off with a dexterous fiery sword strike. Shavai Ridley attacking Nightwolf in the meantime. Liu Kang and Kyle singling each other out. Man, big light sword shot launching Raiden at Nightwolf. Good god. Crest trying to get it. like Nightwolf dead. Liu Kang Raiden and Kung Lao left. Super lightning bolt, but Crest disrupts it again. Double sword strike, and Kung Lao trying to pound the back. Also, like Liu Kang and Kung Lao getting carved into like a Thanksgiving turkey friendly with Watcher Sword Slam grounds him. My goodness! Tails made mid speed out of him in round two, and we will see our third round three. Who will take it? Raid runs in Liu Kang with the fireball. Now Crest with a big light based sword shot. Now Ridley trying to pair off with Liu Kang and Raid is the other side of the ring. Shavite, Kyle, and Crest just utterly destroying Kung Lao and Nightwolf the other side of the ring. Nightwolf dead already. And so, oh, Liu Kang spamming fireballs. Raid trying to get him with a torpedo. But Crest intercepts him. Now he's, now he's riding on blades here. Liu Kang and Raid are just getting juggled. My goodness. Now Kyle, Crest, Shavite, Ridley not letting up on him. My, see Kyle spamming his sword combined? There they go! My goodness! The Mortal Kombat bodies, they would not let him hit the ground. Once Tails juggled them, they did not let up at all. Yeah, they put their foot on the accelerator via Mortal Kombat's windpipes and did not let up like I said they should do. 2-1. Huh. Yeah, I kind of lost my place there a bit. I mean, a lot of these matches have been fast and furious lately. I'm trying to keep up. I'm sorry if I'm falling behind a little bit. Especially with 3v3 and 4v4, you cannot expect perfection. It, it, it's like a beautiful mess. <laughs> Best way to describe it. But it's a fun, beautiful mess to watch. <laughs> Anyways, Mortal Kombat really did surprise me with that dominant round one start. And man, it looked like things were going their way, but... A couple turning points in round two really turned the tide for Tails. I mean, Crest kept disrupting Raiden's super electric bolt. And that kept getting Mortal Kombat to win. And kept putting them in a good position, but... Once Crest broke up, broke Raiden off of them, then they managed to breathe, and before you know it, the sword rain started, and Mortal Kombat started eating steel. So, yep, Team Tails right back in it, and they managed to take it. 
So another nice major 3v3 win of oh, 4v4 win. That see my head's all over the place. I can't think anymore. <laughs> But yay, Tails with a 4v4 win. A much needed one at that. And hopefully they can continue it. Alrighty, folks. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. My brain is fried from trying to call all these fights, so... Stay tuned for Rep 127, where hopefully I'll have even more bigger and better battles awaiting later. So stay tuned for next weekend, and I'll see you all later. Peace friggin' out all! Oh!